<laughs> okay, I got a few questions like this and I'm so confused. Unless you're a certain type of guy, you won't be able to understand that. But I don't know. I need these answers to a large amount of people that are in fitness that but the things that I've tried that are like my staples that I must have Miami or LA and if you pick Miami I guess I'm gonna move to Miami okay what's up guys welcome back to another video I'm Try my best to roll out these videos for you guys. It is a Friday night. This is what I'm doing on a Friday night. Anybody else with me? But I'm going to be answering your questions. I put a little question box on Instagram. And we're just going to go right into it. Also, the shirt is the best shirt ever. I already ripped it, but let's just pretend like it's supposed to be that way and it's cute. <laughs> I got this if you guys want to know because last time you guys asked when I pointed it out. It's from Urban Outfitters and that's not a joke. All right. Also, remind me never to get bangs again because I just don't like them and they're just a hassle and get my face too much, but they're just annoying and I always just put them back anyway, so not doing that again this is just like the first one i saw what are your long-term goals like after you are done competing i don't know when i'll be done competing so i'm not sure about that part but my long-term goals i'm not much of a planner i used to be a planner and then life just likes to flip everything upside down so you can't really plan too much but what i do know is that i want a family to be in a marriage i want to have kids i want to raise my kids i want to have a successful business so those are kind of the things that i know for sure about the future how do you deal with bad body image issues so this is a hard question because I've definitely struggled with this a lot the past two years. Like the biggest thing I wish that I did is focus more on the things that I liked about my body or just focus more on things that I liked about myself versus the things that I really didn't like about my body. And it's, and it's harder said than done because I mean it's okay. It's okay to not be happy with your body. Like if you don't like how it looks and you want to improve it and improving it is something that you can do. I think you should go for that and strive for that. But I don't think it's healthy to be super negative and like talk badly to yourself about your body or just like consistently point things out. Like that doesn't do anything. That literally just hurts you. It hurts you in the moment and it hurts you in the long run. So just doing your best to focus on the positives. Like I wish I focused on my ass more because like my booty was banging when I was heavy. Like it was huge so I should have just focused on that more you know you live and you learn there's no point in wasting your life constantly being upset or just negatively talking about your body and seeing yourself negatively look for the positive as much as you can and do your best to really just focus on that that's kind of the best advice I have but I know it's difficult yeah if someone has a better answer put it in the comment section below because it's something that I don't fully know the answer to advice for someone trying to lose weight for the hundredth time and staying consistent you just got to keep doing it you got to keep failing and failing and starting over and stopping and starting over until it sticks one time it's gonna stick at some point and the thing is every time you stop that's the time that ooh, if you just stayed consistent a little longer you would have gotten past the plateau or you would have gone past the point that you didn't think you could and you would have made improvements so just try and think of that just keep going no matter how hard it is or no matter how discouraging it gets and see where you go because like if you don't do it then you're just going to continue with the cycle of stopping and starting stopping and starting you just have to make the decision one day where like you know what no matter what i'm gonna do it for at least this amount of time and i'm gonna put everything i have into it and let's see what happens there's no stopping i'm just gonna go 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 no matter what and it's gonna be hard especially if you stop and go and stop and go so many times it's gonna be hard because your body and your mind are so used to doing that that it's gonna fight you when you want to keep pushing but you have to 
fight past that and just push through and amazing things come on the other side and there's just no way there's no way that if you just keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing that you won't get there why are you moving so i think i got a lot of questions surrounding the moving thing because i went on instagram and i was just like all right instagram Miami or LA and if you pick Miami I guess I'm gonna move to Miami which is like kind of a joke but not really a joke I'm obviously not gonna just base my life off of Instagram I mean I could but like I'm not gonna actually make decisions that way I had a little idea in my head that I would move to Miami possibly so thought I would just throw it up there and see what people thought basically I've been in LA for three years now this was never going to be forever for me and i'm kind of just ready for something new honestly and miami's not going to be somewhere i settle down either but it's just somewhere that i think is going to be the next move for me possibly me and my best friends are going to possibly be doing that and I should probably call my mom and dad and tell them about this before my mom watches this video and texts and be like, um, you're moving to Miami, what? So I knew that this was going to most likely be my last year in LA. Maybe I'll come back, maybe I won't. Nothing's tying me down and I can do my job from wherever, which I'm so thankful for. So why not? Like, I want to experience what it's like to live in different places while I can. So... Yeah, I think Miami is going to happen. We will see. I also went to Texas. I don't want there to be any confusion about that. That's most likely for my brother's going to be moving there. I could see myself living there. Who knows? So it's an, an option for more of like settling down. But we'll see. Who is your biggest role model in life? I don't really have many role models or like people that I look up to but i would say the one person who i do look up to and that is my role model is my mom just because i think she's and she's watching this so shout out to you mom i love you so much she is one of the most amazing people i i just have ever known and everybody that knows her can vouch for this she is full of love Full of kindness she has like just the most purest heart ever and she's so kind and she's so talented and she's so hard-working and just everything she's a great mom great wife great friend great family member great aunt everything I just don't even know how she does what she does so she's my role model and if I can be half the mom wife woman that she is I would be happy with that I love you, mama. How much gum do you chew? Yeah. What do you recommend from first form? I have a little highlight on my Instagram. I still have so many things that I need to try. The thing with first form is everything from there is just the best of the best and i'm not just saying that like i wouldn't be with a company unless i thought that so there's still so much for me to try but the things that i've tried that are like my staples that i must have and that i do recommend if you're a protein drinker i would highly highly recommend their protein their level one it is absolutely amazing it's so delicious and it's really good quality and it shakes really well the chocolate mint is my absolute favorite flavor so far i would also say the reds and greens you guys hear me talk about that literally all the time because it's actually amazing and it's something that you should take every single day because it just has all the micronutrients that you're probably not getting from your diet it's really good for bloating digestion gut health some other stuff that i like to use are the digestive enzymes what else do i use oh also they have the micro factor packs which are super easy because it just has like all your daily essential vitamins in one pack i need to try a lot of other stuff i heard they just got collagen for your hair skin and nails and all that type of stuff so i need to try that out but those would be oh and if you're vegan and even if you're not vegan the vegan protein is freaking amazing it has more of a natural taste and like a different texture so i like to do it as a smoothie yeah so vegan protein the level one protein chocolate mint flavor reds and greens microfactor and digestive enzymes those are like 
the six things that I must have in my cabinet at all times as of right now. And by the way, they are always, always in the description box, every single video. If you guys want it, it's free shipping link. Um, and if you use the link, it also helps and supports me. So I always really appreciate that. And all of First Form's products are 110% money back guarantee. So if you don't like something, which I highly doubt that you wouldn't like it, you get to send it back and get your money back. Please talk more about THC plus the gym, unpopular topic, but relevant. So you guys have been seeing a little bit that I've been posting here and there about that. I think sometimes it's great before the gym. It's really great after the gym too, but I think sometimes before the gym it's great if you're not doing anything super heavy and you're just going to kind of get more of a pump and do higher reps because it really, really helps with mind-muscle connection and I really feel that it helps with like the mindset aspect of it. For after the gym, I just think it helps with relaxing your body. I think it helps with the recovery. I'm not, I don't know like the science behind it, but that's just what I think and I feel like it works and I feel like it helps me. It helps with keeping me calm. It helps with just being able to chill out. Not like promoting it or anything, but sometimes it's like the greatest thing of all time. I'm gonna have to just answer a few more because my camera likes to overheat what is your full-time job is it youtube or are you a trainer i get this question a lot which i guess i just like don't talk about it enough i do a few different things coaching is like my main job which i'm actually taking also a few more clients so i'll have the application below it's not for competing it's for lifestyle clients only but do not apply unless you are like 110 percent ready to be dedicated and do what it takes i don't want to waste your time and i don't want you to waste my time so do not apply unless you're really actually ready because i'm only taking a few clients and then also i do youtube i work with first form and i have a podcast what guys are you into i don't fully know what that means but like oh you know what go and listen to my podcast because you'll probably get a better idea of that i talk about that kind of stuff a good amount on there but just a man a man kind of going along with that question would you consider difficult to date with your lifestyle i would say kind of yes because and i kind of realized this a bit more it's been a little more clear to me as of lately because i've tried to be open to people who don't have this same lifestyle as me but i just don't think it would work and i knew it wouldn't work but i i was just like trying to be open to it but 100 percent, like i need someone who lives the lifestyle i do that doesn't necessarily mean they need to compete but they need to live a healthy lifestyle or just be into fitness they need to know more about the gym than me they need to be in the gym they need to have like that same passion and mindset towards working out as i do just because it is such a big part of my life and it, it is going to be for a long time so i would say it is a little harder for me today because that already just decreases the amount of people by a lot and i'm just really really bicky so that decreases it even more because i say i need someone who's into fitness but then there's just like a large amount of people that are in fitness that i'm not attracted to certain personalities it's just like a very small amount i'm just like where are you at though so i just like don't actually date very much and that's okay i'm just curious if there's actually anybody that's going to i don't know meet my standards and I think if a guy isn't into fitness and they meet me, I can be a little intimidating. And I don't want to feel more masculine than the guy that I'm with. But parts of my personality have to do with fitness and the gym. So I think unless you're a certain type of guy, you won't be able to understand that. You would have to be into fitness in order to think that those parts of my personalities I think are attractive. So, I mean, that's just how it is and what I think. If you compete with division, why? Um, 
so I kind of cleared this up on my Instagram because I was getting a lot of questions about this. But if I'm doing bikini, like I'm 99.9% .9 sure. I mean, I'm pretty 100% sure. Who knows what will happen. I never say never, but I'm pretty sure I'll never be doing figure again. And I don't really think I want to do wellness either because those girls are just as big as the figure girls, at least like at the bottom half. And I just don't want to be super large. And I'm just done with like carrying that around in the off season and stuff too so I really like the bikini look and I that's just like what I want to go for any tips when your digestion is off a lot of water 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 you can try fast also digestive enzymes and the reds and greens really help but just try and drink as much water as you can and take out foods that might be upsetting your stomach Okay, I got a few questions like this and I'm so confused. How long have you been dating Lauren? Who's Lauren? And if you mean Leanne, when did I ever say I was dating Leanne? Like a couple people like said something like that. Someone else was like, oh, you said you were with a girl for four years. Like, where are people getting this from? Like, I've never said that. It's just so funny. Yeah, I have two really amazing best friends that live in LA with me and I love spending time with them. I usually don't like to be around people for long periods of times, but I love being around them for long periods of time, so they're my best friends. So I love them. Yeah. And I'm not dating them. They're just my best friends. Like, do people stop best friends these days or what? When are you competing again? I'm going to pull this one again. We shall see. Stay tuned. That's what I got to say. Stay tuned. What would you be your best piece of advice for getting into a routine and sticking to it? Girl, I don't know. Like, if anybody knows please leave it in the comment section below because I don't know. I am so bad at this and I really want to get better at this. It's just ridiculous. I thrive off a routine, but I can't get myself to get in a routine. And I try and then I fail and I try and I fail. So I don't know. I need these answers too. Somebody please help. Tips on how to be confident in all aspects of your life. This is something that I'm reworking on. Just everything that's happened within the last few years. It kind of knocked my confidence down a bit. So I've been working on rebuilding that up. And I think the only way to build your confidence is by doing things that make you proud of you. Like just continue to do things that make you love yourself. And that make you feel fulfilled. Keep your promises to yourself make yourself proud and I think confidence just comes with that. You'll be showered with confidence if you just keep doing that every single day. It just adds up and like how can you not be confident when you're like damn I'm pretty fucking cool. Like look at all this. Look at this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm glad that I'm getting more videos out so please give it a thumbs up on your way out if you're happy about that and you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video.